Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It's your girl Brandy and this is Creative Selections. Today we are in day two of our 2019 goal setting preparedness. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because we are going to be talking about office productivity and workflow. And the way that I'm going to show you how I plan to be productive in 2019 with my office is going to be to give you an office tour of my decluttering, my organization, and my whole setup of how I am thinking through my workflow so that in 2019, I can crush goals. I can be so on point because my space, it draws me in, it invites me in, and it is clean and it is ready for me every time that I step into it. If you are ready for this much anticipated office tour, thank God it is done, y'all. Um, then stay tuned. Okay, so this is when you enter my office and we typically have this setting here and I have two armchairs with a broken mirrored um, desk here and I got this desk from home um, I'm sorry this dresser from home goods and it was broken and it was originally $199 and I got it for $75 because it was broken I have yet to repair it but this is a great still, so I'm going to go ahead and repair that one of these days. But um, this is what I have on it. For Christmas, I've decorated just with a poinsettia and a little bell. And then let me just take you inside these drawers. So if we go down to the bottom drawer, you can see here, where we have, I have four, one, two, five rows of baskets with like school supplies and knickknacks and um, stamps and cards and different things like that. And I have them sitting on top of, if I pull these out for you, this is a great idea if you've never seen this before, on top of the, um, the, risers that you put in your kitchen cabinets for your plates and your bowls and stuff like that to give more um, room in your cabinets and then underneath of those I have two risers in here as you can see and underneath of here is additional school supplies and I have some um, two um, things that I got from the Goodwill that I'm going to use um, later but additionally, this would just be school supplies for the kids. So this is kind of like their drawer. And then just for my gifts and cards and things, that's what I do. So that I think is a really good idea. And then this drawer has um, some baskets in it. And I keep like my acrylic paints, um, my glues, and my different glue guns and different things like that in here and um, crafts basically so this is like a craft drawer and I have several baskets in here just keeping everything organized and together so that's that one. and then up here this is like a catch-all drawer um, I have tools I have different projects I know I'm gonna work on I have supplies um, light bulbs just this is like a thrown together drawer <laughs> and I've had several of those in my office so don't judge me because sometimes I just like to throw stuff together but this right here is organized these are all of my cards um, and they are separated by type um, so if ever I need to send a card out I can these are like my holiday cards that I typically send out and um, so on and so forth so, uh, if you can see, so I just um, save a lot of these things 
and group all of that, like my mailing supplies together all in one area. So that's that. And then if we come over here, this is like my corner that I store like my lighting and my tripods in and my overhead stuff in that corner. And here is where my planner bag is. If my planner tote, if I choose to take planning supplies out with me, they go in that bag. This basket here is Niel's basket. So she puts all of her work in here and then at the end of so long we go through it we keep the things that we like and then we discard the things that we don't and down here this drawer is all kind of hodgepodge um just different pens and pencils and things that she may need clips and all that this drawer here is hodgepodge again just a lot of pens and clips and stamps and stuff. And I typically don't use this stuff, but <laughs> she's becoming a little crafter. So I just let her have a couple of drawers in here. And these are all the stickers and stuff that I've used and come across along the way that I plan to do something with. And I just have them organized, um, all of my coupon file holders. I have these organized, if you can see this, with a file holder. And I can pick this whole thing out and it's all together so that is how that is organized and then back here I just have um, a traveler's notebook and some more of my coupon holders okay so that all goes in there so tip number one is to declutter and only keep the things that you really need okay if you don't need it you don't need to keep it um i have a lot of things that i don't need in here coupons and stuff these are old planners that i used to plan in um, my style of planning has changed i have some magazines in here so this is kind of a junk drawer that i haven't really decluttered yet and i really need to get to it down here, I have a lot of like sticky notes and pads and stuff. This is Niall's writing paper. And this is all, I know exactly where all these pads and sticky notes are. So that kind of works out well. And that is in a little bin down there as well. So tip number one. Tip number one is to declutter your office. All of this is here, but it doesn't look unorganized even though I have junk drawers okay so we're down to the credenza in the back of my office and I'm not sure if you guys saw this but this is the credenza this was a a TV stand and it was a little too low so I went ahead and screwed on legs on the bottom of the credenza on four legs just to give it a little bit more height and I got that off of a guy on Facebook for about 20 bucks so this really was um, a lifesaver when I started to redo my office okay so down here I have all of my 12 by 12 paper pads and paper so all of my pads, they're just all stacked up in here. Um, and then I have some different signs that I bring out um, when I'm decorating in different ways. Down here is all of my cutters. So I have my regular cutter and then I have my big paper cutter. This is the box to um, my glass mat that sits on top of this credenza. And then I have some clipboards and things like that. And that little candle goes in my bathroom, but I haven't decorated my bathroom yet. So that's what's down here. Tip number two, group things, like things together. So you'll always know where they are. I just purchased this pad and I have a project that I wanna do with it. So that's why it's sitting out up here. But once I finish my project, I will put it down under here okay so that is tip number two group like 
things together so that you will know where they are and where to find them, okay? So on to here, this is a basket that was black. I spray painted it gold. And this is where I open up a couple packs of computer paper and I just put them in there. I keep um, a selfie stick, a back scratcher, and some um, extension cords if I need to use them for my lighting. And then down here are a couple of containers that hold miscellaneous things. And they're out of the way. I very rarely use them. But when I do use them, I know where they are. But they are hidden. Okay, so that's that one. Then down here, this is my catch-all bin. When I'm trying to just hide some stuff. <laughs> But typically, this stuff right here would not be on here, and it's really meant to be for my scrap paper, scraps and different things like that, like this here, my scrap vinyl, different things like that. But I um, put all of this on top of here because I need to go through this, okay? So I just put it in my catch-all bin. And it is in a basket. And then under there, I have two more of those plastic bins that have various things in them that I don't often use. So they are hidden and in the back. So tip number three, put things in baskets so that you can organize them. Um, and they're not out in the open. So I have a lot of my computer papers in a, in, is in a basket. Um, my scrapbook scraps of paper when I'm finished using them I put them in a basket the totes that are behind these two I put them in little uh, shoe boxes that you can get from the dollar store just to contain all of my stuff because it's a lot like if you're a crafter you have a lot of stuff so that is tip number three make sure that you have baskets to organize your stuff in so declutter your space group like things together and then get baskets to organize what you have left over so this is kind of a catch-all space too i have some books in here that i've read um i have some paper and some um laminating things down here and down here I have some other supplies, some candle holders and different things, different crafting things, some tissue paper and all of that. I have my magazines that I like to put out sometimes down there. And um, so that's kind of what this side houses. And maybe there's no rhyme or reason to you, but when I come in here, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly where everything is at, and I know exactly where I can find things. So underneath here is my laminator, hiding under there. It's like the perfect spot for it. Got a couple magazines out here when I'm meal planning. Um, I use some of the recipes in these um, clean eating magazines. And um, right on this shelf, and this shelf, by the way, guys, is um, a shelf from Bed Bath & Beyond. And it basically goes in like your linen closet or, and it can help stack up more things like your towels and your sheets and your things like that on it or shoes. Um, this is a smaller version and you can go ahead and put whatever you want on here. I thought this was a great addition to my desk because it stacks, it goes up higher. I get the space of three shelves. So on here is where I keep my planner stickers and supplies, my new planner for the new year and all in my haul that I'm gonna be doing a video on soon is there. As well as up here, I got this thing from Ross and this is just like a little, um, two-tier mirror mirrored holder and I got this from Ross and I just put a lot of stickers it gives my office a little bit more color different things like that and that's what I use up here over here this is more decor and a little lamp and then this is my gallery wall and this really gives me life right now um Everything that's on here has like a purpose to me and I could just sit and look at this gallery wall and just really begin to 
get inspired, begin to recenter myself, understand and know who I am, what I'm doing, and just refocus. So I really love this gallery wall. Okay, you guys, I really... I really love this gallery wall. This was the last DIY for my office tour, um, which is why it took me so long. These pictures just breathe life into me. They depict who I am. Um, I am a friend. Um, I am a mother. I am an entrepreneur that dreams. I aim to inspire people. Um, I love coffee and I love my, my time with myself and taking self-care. And when I look into those eyes, they're not my eyes, but they just look into me. You know, they look into who I am and they really just help me to refocus and know that I am, I am enough. You know, I am enough right now and all that I'm doing and working hard to do, it just shows me that I am enough. So you know, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul, right? <laughs> and then that inspire, that is going to um, come in another video with this um, with this uh, series, Aim to Inspire Plaque. So I will talk about that in that other video. So then I have a little bulletin board to hang up a lot of Niall's work um, because contrary to popular belief, even though I think this is my office, it is not. <laughs> So here's that other DIY, my orchid. I just love that. It sits there so nicely. And of course, I have to have something that says something about coffee. Then I have these little buckets over here that organize like all my little rocks and pebbles and different things like that. So that's three buckets with that. Those also help me to help Naya with her counting and her math. So it has a double meaning there. <laughs> all right, so... Um, now we are on over to this lovely bookcase. I got a little decor up there. That's my family, you guys. That's my family. And then I just come down to here. I have a, um, a saying that I got from the Talitha Kumi Foundation that I was involved with before I moved down here. And it says the world is waiting arise. And I just think that is so amazing because... Yeah, why not? Um, I got this uh, this little thing here from the Goodwill. It just holds a lot of my pens, pencils, markers, scissors, different things like that. And Niels, pens, pencils, markers. <laughs> and then I have a little acrylic box full of washi. And I just love this. It just brings the color out. And this is something that my husband did um, for from our ministry, Heartfire Ministries, where he just blessed me with this. Um, we were going through so much and he just blessed me with this um, plaque. So I was just so excited about that. And then I got another apothecary jar full of washi. The colors just are everything. This is a little bank that my grandfather gave me, but it goes with the decor and then a candle back there. This is a, these are two um, prayer journals that I'm making for a friend, some shirts that I'm working on. Um, so my project space on top of my printer, right? Um, not really, but I just moved it over there. So my printer hat is over here on this bookcase. And then this holds a lot of my labels and different things like that. This magazine rack holds a lot of my labels and paper, my label paper. And so this bookcase, you guys, was um, a DIY that I did. If you're interested to know how I did it, please let me know. Um, it was a find off of, I think, Let It Go for $10. And I um, went ahead and DIY'd it. So, yeah, let me know if you want to see that. Down here is all of like more planner supplies. These are like planners that I'm working on, making prayer planners for people, prayer journals. My old happy planners that I've had and the happy notes that I took apart. This bin holds all of my happy planner stock, supplies, paper, um, half sheets. All of that is all in here. And um, my little mini that I use and I don't use anymore excuse me anymore 
And then this is the supplies that I use on my prayer um, journals that I make. If you're interested in those, let me know. Um, this is the bin that I use for that. And then down here, I have a client who has ordered some mugs. So down here are the mugs that um, I have left over from the last order I placed. And um, I got some paint supplies and these acrylic containers and my um, adhesive spray. And then I have my foil down here. And then in these two bins, these are just stacked on top of each other and they just have a lot of ribbon in them. Um, ribbon and different things, different uh, bling and all of that stuff. So that just goes down here. Okay. So this is my file cabinet that I also DIY the same as... Um, my bookcase on the back it looks the same exact as the bookcase this was a gray file cabinet that um a gray metal file cabinet that i painted and if you want to see that diy do let me know in here this is my junk this is my mess this is my mess i had just recently purchased some vinyl i just threw it in here you guys listen don't judge me so i'm just gonna close that door that drawer and then down here, woo, is my filing. <laughs> I don't have much because I like to be digital, but what, what files I do have, um, I do put in this drawer. And it's organized, see? And it says get organized. It tells me what to do. Over here is the DIY acrylic file, fo file holder that I DIY'd and put the little gold feet on. I have yet to use this, but it's really gonna be for my mail, important mail important important papers that I need to deal with um, and then once I've dealt with them I will file them away back here are just some binders and some envelopes and um, a notebook and I just think they're so pretty and they're just sitting in like a little um, um, accordion stand as well I like these things you guys you guys gotta get with these because they help organize a lot of things so and now we are on to my desk. And the reason that I say you saw over behind me was a lot of um, my decor. My desk space, as you can see, is very limited with decor. It is very um, functional. It doesn't hold a lot of glitz and glam. It just has exactly what I need when I need it. Okay, so let's get into this. I have my Silhouette Cameo here. This little holder, I have all of my like thank you cards that I can, or um, when I do ship out things, I like to write a personalized note to my customers on these different types of cards. So I just keep them right up front here. I have a sticky note holder. Over here, I have a stapler, I have tape, and I have an acrylic box full of clips. This back here was a gift from my son, which is my um, my wireless speaker when I listen to my music and my YouTube videos. And um, here is my um, external drive. I have an HP laptop with a wireless um, Logitech mouse and keyboard setup. This is my wife, mom, boss mug that I made DIY with the Office Series. And then this here is also another DIY that I did. And um, it's basically one of those glass, uh, glass cutting boards from the dollar store with some adhesive on it. And I think you saw that adhesive in one of these spaces. Now back here, I just went and got a toothbrush holder, put some rocks in it, and then there you have it. Because it was acrylic, because my office is mainly acrylic, white, black, um, pops of color, gold, I just did that acrylic. That's the lamp. I got that from Ross. This is another little acrylic box compartmentalized with some clips and um some paper clips and binder clips and 
a little clock and my computer screen. And so that is my office desk. So tip number four, everything that you see here is right in my arm's reach. These are the things that I use most often throughout my day and they are within arm's reach. They are not far, they do not move. This is my planner, y'all, so y'all know this baby is never far. But you need to put all of the supplies that you use daily within arm's reach, okay? So that's what I have done and my printer is right back there and I use this bookcase the most, okay? So it's right behind me. Then my desk is Ikea, um, the lemon, and then my husband gave me his desk from Ikea and I don't know what this piece is called because he brought this off of a lady on Facebook, but it's the corner attachment to the lemon, I think. And then um, I got the Alex drawers. So this is my catch-all drawer. Two things that I need in this drawer. What two things do you think they are? Lip stuff right here. I need my lip stuff, my lip balm. And then some <laughs> hands cream. <laughs> Those are the two most important things in this drawer. <laughs> and then down here, I have everything in containers, you guys. Nothing, some more washi, some staples, some tape. Nothing is unorganized. Everything is clean it's it's neat it is organized and i know where to find it and if anybody was ever to sit in my office they would be able to put things back to where they need to be because sometimes my husband is in here and you know how that goes so down here i have like my tools this is my silhouette stuff my crop doll i got my um burner so these are tools that i use that go with the machines and the different crafts that i make and then down here, I have some more tools. I got my um, my um, label maker. I got all of my punches, my major punches that I use all the time. And so I got some stamping things. And so this is my punch drawer and my label maker drawer. And then down here is my last drawer. And it has the vinyl that I love to use the most. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to store all of my vinyl because this definitely is not going to work but I need to find a place and I'm thinking I'm going to clear out this top drawer in here and put my vinyl in there did y'all see that champagne dreams y'all yes that's me <laughs> so this is my office I got a little trash can from the at-home store um to go with my white theme but this is my office so back to what we have here back to just recapping over everything i'm just going to give you a panoramic view one more time if i have clients they come and sit in these chairs oh back to these chairs and my office chair okay this is my office chair i got my office chair off of a lady from facebook for 25 dollars. it's from bombay and it's phenomenal however it doesn't match the theme so i put a throw and a pillow hopefully to bring the white and the black together until I reupholster it. However, my great friend, if you don't know her, Phoenicia from PK Fashionista, you guys check her out. We are going to be doing a collab in 2019 to help me with these chairs, reupholstering or sewing sewing um, chair covers. She is all about everything sewing. I mean, she's phenomenal. I'm gonna link her um, YouTube channel down below. She does makeup and beauty also, but I know my girl is the bomb with sewing, so y'all guys need to check her out and look for that collab in 2019. She gonna hook me up. I'm so excited. So, recapping, this is my office. It is clean, as you can see there. I have the same um, background as in the bookcase on the Alex drawers. But this is my office space. This is my Zendum. This is where I have decluttered, I have organized, and I have made it my own aesthetically as well as functionally. 
So let's talk about those four tips. Okay, so tip number one, you have to declutter your office throw out anything that you don't need and make sure that you are sh you are you are keeping the things that you will use. So we're not talking about things that you think you're going to use, but things that you will actually use in your projects. And I know as a crafter it's very hard to throw things out. Believe me, I have a garage that needs work. <laughs> So put things that you're not going to use in a tote out into the garage. Do not leave your space cluttered. So that's number one, decluttering. Number two, group like things together. So when you go to grab your scrapbook paper along with your cutters, then they're all in line together. You know that you're going to need your cutters to go along with your scrapbook paper. So just group like things together so that you can grab them more easily be more efficient, and be more productive because you know where they are. Number three, get containers, um, get baskets, get by, uh, different things that will help you to organize and not have not have your drawers cluttered, um, your file cabinet cluttered, your credenza cluttered. Make sure that you are getting baskets that will um, organize your space to the best of its ability. As y'all saw in my tour, I jam packed these drawers, these this credenza, this mirrored dresser, I mean, these Alex drawers, they are jam-packed because I'm a crafter. I love to have things, but I've also streamlined what I need when I need it and put it into different bins, baskets, and um, totes so that I can find them very easily. Tip number four, put all of your workspace, all of the things that you need on a daily basis right within hand's reach. I have my Cameo, my computer, my printer, and all of my um, planner supplies right in arm's reach. I can roll around behind me and get what I need and turn right back around and keep working. I don't have to get up and run over to here or run over to there. As you can see, the things that are in this uh, mirror dresser they are not the things that I use on a daily basis. So anything that I use on a daily basis, I can reach out and touch it. And that's what I um, know will keep me productive. And then I'm going to add a last tip that I did talk about um, in the video, but didn't say. So tip number five is make your office your own. Make it something that is beautiful to you. Make it a place of Zen, make it a place of peace, of comfort, some place that you want to go to every day and work and make sure that you are keeping your office space clean, decluttered and clear of mess every day. So take five minutes at the end of your day, straighten up your desk so that when you come down in the morning, you have the things that you need right at hand and you're not starting off your day by cleaning up. That kind of makes you lose momentum. And keep beautiful things around you, but not in your workspace. I have very minimum decor on my desk, but I have a lot of decor around me that I can look at and really say, Wow, this is a beautiful office. So that's my office tour. Those are my five tips for productivity and workflow in your office space. I wanna thank you for joining me. I wanna thank you for being here and spending this time with me um, at the end of your 2018 to get prepared for your 2019. If you are new to my channel, please um, take a look around, subscribe, ring that bell for future updates because we have eight more days to go of 2019 goal setting preparedness. Thank you and God bless.